now I'm going to run it let's run the program okay you see all of these are disabled if I enter the correct details in here let's see debug will happen okay as you guys can see there's an error so what I'm gonna do is you see normally this text should be there so I'm gonna get rid of that I believe that's the reason so save that and let's come back in here refresh it more or less by going to design view right click go to form view and let's enter the right login details in here look that's it see all of these are enabled okay now if I click on any of these button I expect the button to open up doctor GP patient details payment and so on so that's what I'm going to do now so to do that let's go back to design view here and make sure it is safe what we've done so far now let's come in here we need to create let's create a form for the doctor's information create that's the doctor's information created you can modify your creation of the form the choice is yours so let's select GP and go back to create GP information that's it right there so I want to create GP information as well that's it done patient create patient for me payment let's come in here as payment details and right here pharmacist details as well that's it all done so the whole idea is to be able to call all of these by using any of these buttons so I'm going to create the rest button so let's come right in here we have one two three four five so we need two more I'm just gonna copy those two paste it right there and drag it down okay the next one here is payment so that's going to be going to payment there and the name of that is going to be C M B payment done and finally we have pharmacies CMB pharmacies and paste that in here there we go and one other thing is I'm just gonna select it all let's look for fonts I need to change the font width to something bold uh, maybe we'll repeat the same thing for all of the buttons make them bold as well let's see font okay let's increase that of the button to be 18 here yeah. apart from the GP something I just leave that as GP well, let's see maybe we can increase this to 18 as well yeah 18 why not right and we will have to then increase this so with the design let me just take care of that you guys can sort that out yourself I will take care of that and get back to you okay guys this is how it all looks now but all that is left is we have to be able to disable all of these just like we did with the other one so if I run it this is what you guys will see that's how it's looking right now so let's say we enter the correct login details in there there we go that enables the three that i've disabled so i'm going to disable all of these as well and the other two here so let's right click and come into design get the names of this right click and get the properties and the name of that is cmb payment so come right in the code right 
click on let's come into the there we go place that and copy the that no that's not enabled that's meant to be disabled okay we can enable it with that then in here we have to be able to disable it and the form load right so let's repeat exactly the same thing for the others yeah just save this right I saved all of the forms those are the forms that I've just finished saving okay now we need the name of these I think that's payment and this is pharmacist copy that right click in here and the other one is payments let's copy and paste this there so when I finish this I'm gonna have to speed it up and I'll get back to you guys okay save that okay let's take care of these ones here so i'm gonna right click and go straight to okay let's start with the form load paste that in there and just enable it all enable equals force copy paste 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 and there now we're gonna repeat the same thing for enable equals true so if you get it right if you get the password right it will enable all of the buttons there there we go now let's save and minimize this right click and select view form there we go guys so if I enter the correct login details there, that will enable all of these. Okay. So now let's see, see the time and the day. Let's check in here a login. So the time we enter all of those information, we want it saved right in there. Okay. So let's come in here. Let's close that and right in here we're going to enter a couple of lines of code for it to save the information right there okay so let's right click and go to design view so right in here let's click and go to the build event right there so we're going to ask the system to save right that's it command to save so let's save that and come right in here okay let's enter let's enter whatever in there and see what's going to happen that is invalid okay but if we come in here let's see okay look at what we just enter at that very time that is invalid now let's try to enter the correct login details so I'm gonna close that see the reset is not working so let's enter the correct login details and there we go click there all right let's come in right here design and in here supposing we've entered incorrect login details okay if this is this this is this all of this enable so let's say else let's enter a message box msg box let's say invalid login all right and all of these everything in here 
copy that and paste that in there there we go okay so we have an invalid login there all right however if our login is correct let's just delete this if our login is correct save we want us to be able to call any of these components we have in there okay this very button here let's call that very event we want it to open up as follows so i want to copy that and use that for the rest save that minimize and if i let's run it and see first right click and let's enter correct details in there there we go open up yeah that's it it's working how we want all right so we need to repeat the same thing for the other buttons that is fine this okay now the next one is this very one let's get the name no i think we're referring to this okay so let's get the name of this right click event build and right there but we have to change that to gp underscore appointment something like that Should we have an underscore? Let's see first. And let's run that and see what's going to happen. There we go. Right, that's fine as well. That's good. Okay, so I'm going to have to repeat the same thing for for the others. And I'll get back to you guys as soon as it's done. Okay. So right click and just go back to design and patient. So we have one there called patient. Right click. Okay, now just select it. Make sure it's selected. Come right in here. Event. And select code. Code builder. And that will be for the patient. I'll just speed that up okay just to let you guys know these are the lines of code of how to call those forms so I'm going to save that minimize and uh, let's right click and run this program and there we go right login Okay, so we can call payment, right, and we can call patient, we can also call anything we want to call there. Alright, that's fine. The other thing I'll do is to get all of these buttons up. Let's paste them on that system anyway. So if I copy all of these buttons, I will have them in here as well. So let's come in here. Um, exit. Design view. Copy all of these buttons. Control C. We want to paste that, those buttons in here. And just paste them somewhere on the side. see that guys that will be done for the others okay let's speed that up okay we've called all of these forms but it's left to each uh, it's left to you if you want to change the background color 
to me I don't think that's necessary but if you want to change it all you need to do is to select the property and just go to the background here just change the back color the choice is yours if you want to do that that's it if you want to do that it's quite easy to do all right so let's repeat exactly the same thing for the rice color back color got something a little bit darker the choice is yours like I said let's see what's this back color here and the next one okay the next one there we go so let's right click and check it out alright that is how it looks so let's enter our customer uh, let's enter the doctor's details and that's going to be that click on login there we go all right so what i don't seem to like this color i'm going to change it back to to white i think maybe something a little bit darker let's see how this one is going to look like yeah i think this is much better so that's the color that i intend to use all right so one, two three four login then we can just call any of those forms we can go back to login call payment go back and so on we need to connect this this one is fine yeah okay so we need to enter some lines of codes there Oh, there's nothing here. I remember. I didn't add any button there, so that's fine anyway. Okay, okay. Let's go back to the login and uh, take care of the exit and the reset. But then this is not working. So if we come in here, we cannot go back to. We can go back here, but we cannot go back to login. So let's take care of this first. So right click on that and come to design, select this, let's go to build event and right there enter that very line of so code to take care of that, save it as well, yeah that's fine. So we can, let's give that a run and see and make sure it has form view. And there so that's fine so we need to be able to take care of this reset and exit so let's come in here on design as it right click build and right there those are the lines of code for the exit right there okay so have a good look at it the lines of code for the exit now let's save that and minimize that right click on reset in the case of reset instead of writing everything i'm just going to call form load copy that come right in here and just enter call form load that's so that's the reset because it's actually calling all the function right in here to reset everything so that's all that need to be done so let's save that and let's run our program come right in here from view there we go reset you see that guys invalid okay let's enter valid details there okay okay go to pharmacy there we go so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you enjoy it so this is how you create your own uh, pharmacy's management system okay 
so for the doctor we're going to enter the doctor's details there GP enter GP details there patient the patient details and payment details goes in here then we have the pharmacies okay so that is how the whole system works so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you guys enjoy it you can always make an improvement to it so bye for now